Note that we have already recorded this entire story, so do not leave any reviews, assuming we will read them, because we won't. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name's Connor, and with me today is Yella. Good. And Bob. Hey, this is my current. Day. Oh. Intro <laughs> line. <laughs> I guess we're doing that. Why did we do that? I don't know. So, do you guys remember a little ways back when we looked at, in Pokemon, all of the Ash Betrayal stories yes, there are? Yes, of course. How could Which, I forget? By the way, that population has grown since we last looked. Of course it has. Well, apparently, there's another subject that some people like to write about, which is Ash being in a coma. Oh. Huh. Like, that's some other theory or something? Some it's not just genre. a theory. It's a game theory. No, it... <laughs> I mean, yes, apparently. Uh. So, I looked, and I found the craziest one of those Good. all, and I am pumped to read this story. <laughs> this one's great. This is a story by Pickskit Met called Ashes I'm Awakening. I'm already very confused by that name. <laughs> Pix it's like Kismet, but not. Yeah. It's like Pikachu and Kismet, but then Kismet is misspelled. It's Kitmet, yeah. Ash is finally awake from his karma, and he is mm. ready for some adventuring. Can I hazard a guess on how you found this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it perhaps <laughs> karma? Uh, yeah, a good description always piques my yeah. interest. <laughs> and trust me, you'll see that this story is way more than it says it is. Okay. So let's start with chapter one. Ash is awakening. Good. Author's note. Hello, people. I've decided to create a story, so I chose Ash and Serena. Hmm. That's how that follows. Uh, okay. You, first you pick the characters, and then the story just falls out. Yeah. It's magic. No, I did not create Pokemon. And yes, I guess this is sort of biased off of Pokemon Burst. This oh. also is biased uh. off of the theory about <laughs> Ash and getting hit by lightning and going into a comma and that his adventures <laughs> never really happened. Oh, so it's the same theory that a lot of people have for Final Fantasy VIII. Pokemon Burst? I don't know what that is. I'm sure somebody yeah. knows. Tell us, oh, what is Pokemon? Oh, uh, oh. okay, uh, so I guess it, po what the fuck? Pokemon Rebirth is a manga that debuted in 2011 that, hmm. in the series, Ryuga and many others have the ability to turn into a Pokemon-human hybrid by using a special technique called Burst. That sounds gross. Man, I'm really glad I stopped following Pokemon. <laughs> right. <laughs> Especially the manga. Anyway, there's a bit more author's note here. I'm a newbie, so please go easy on me with the comments and give me some advice on how to format this story, please. Here's a bit of advice. Format it. Yeah, there's a good start. I'm not going to tell you how In to fact, do it. In fact, don't even just format your you story. Just... Format your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That System, 30, system 32, you don't Actually, need that. they got two extra. It's System 34 on their system. Whoa. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's how, that's how good they are. <laughs> well, let's get this going. Ash is lying on a hospital bed while Serena stares at Ash. Their current location is at a hospital nearby Ash's yeah, home. Yeah, he was in a in a hospital bed in, you know, a movie theater first. But then yeah. they thought, that's weird, so let's move him to a hospital. Yeah, we should probably move him to a place where doctors can take care of him. Why? Why won't you wake up, Ash? She kisses his forehead and cries while thinking this thought. It has been three years since the lightning hit Ash, and he went into the comma state. The uh, comma state. You know, you have the Rhode pumpkin Island. state, and Rhode Island, this is the, the comma, comma state. <laughs> yeah, Rhode yeah. Island. As it's well known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ever since that day, his Pikachu has <laughs> never left Ash's side. Yeah, he better. He was the one who put Ash into the coma. He better I mean, feel comma. fucking guilty. Into the comma, yeah. Yeah. Serena wipes her tears and stands up. Semicolon. She stares at Ash for a couple more seconds and walks away. Correct use Correct of semicolon. semicolon. Holy shit. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Call it out because that's like a 0.1% that it's right, but it was right. Yeah, oh no, I see another semicolon coming up. I think it'll be correct, but you shouldn't use them so close together. Can I, can I also say real quick? No, everything is, like, we're hearing what she's doing, but I'm not getting 
any real emotion from the actions. It's more like she stands up, she sits down, she looks at him, she looks away. Like, yeah, it's all it's very like she- mechanical. Like a robot could do everything she's done so far, except for leak fluid. Yeah, she wipes her tears is, like, the only thing that tells you that she's sad. Yeah. I mean, a robot could leak fluids. That's true. Right. I am now crying. This is what humans would do. (laughs) I have opened the valves near my eye sockets. Yes. She exits the building and walks towards the hotel over we're staying at. Don't stay at a hotel if you're going to stick around for three years. (laughs) <laughs> also, the, it's really near, expensive really up, fast. Yeah. Also, it's near his house. I mean, I yeah. guess I guess it's kind of weird maybe to just sort of move in with his mom, but still, you know, <laughs> you both care about him a lot. Actually, here's a good question. How does Serena know him? Yeah, if his adventures never happened, does that mean he, like, picked Pikachu, tried to walk out of town, and then got struck by lightning? He didn't get struck. I think the theory is that Pikachu shocking him in, like, the first episode, is what is putting him in the comma. But that still begs the question. Which is, like, way earlier than him meeting anybody else. Pikachu's not even his friend at that point. No, Pikachu fucking hates him. That's why Pikachu electrocutes him. Yeah. Yeah. How does he... How does Serena know him? (laughs) My question stands. It will stand forever. Pikachu is the ultimate to Sundara. Yeah. (laughs) The hotel itself is quite fancy, semicolon. It was ten stories high, and with fifty to sixty room on each floor. It stood out beautifully in the cold, dark night, with the lights growing bright with light, and the inside was all warm and cozy that it made you feel relaxed and comforted right when you stepped inside. Hang on, you do not get to use (laughs) semicolons correctly. (laughs) If you're gonna, the next sentence is gonna be that. This is like a run on. Also, That's like a sprint on. <laughs> also, <laughs> d- does any of you remember a nice hotel in Pallet Town? Uh, no. I mean, mostly you woke up and got your Pokemon and got the flip out of there, you know? Yeah. You, you never did see the south side of town. You know, oh, maybe shit. there's some nice stuff down there. Yeah, you head north pretty much immediately. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's like a business district down there. Like who cares about Ash? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna use my interior design degree in writing my story. Yeah, exactly. Explain yeah. to you just how well put together this room is. Like oh you wouldn't God, believe it's gonna, how it's gonna good fun. the feng shui of this room is. <laughs> you want to hear more about the hotel? Oh, please tell me about the hotel. <laughs> the inside was beautifully decorated. The warm and fuzzy red carpet, the glassy white marble walls, domed with carvings that made you wonder just exactly how much it costed to even make this hotel. Mm -hmm, The mm -hmm, plants were aligned in a certain order so that the floor was neat and pretty at the same time. Who the fuck did the plants decide that? Plants, I mean, that's called delegation. It's all about the feng shui. Yeah. Uh, semicolon, the big fountain in the middle just topped it off. Mm. Just a big fountain in the middle of your hotel room? Are they, <laughs> I feel, are they talking I about the lobby or the, the hotel room? The, the sound of running water is very pleasing to me while I'm going to sleep. That's why I put a big fucking fountain in my room. <laughs> yeah. The downside is I have to use the bathroom like 20 times at night. Yeah, right. and as I walk to the bathroom, I get soaked. <laughs> right. There were pools around each corner that were filled with lily pads and carp of different color and sizes. Jeez. Okay, guys, it is just Pallet Town. Like, come on. Yeah, like, yeah fucking it's not chill. like this big metropolis that has, like, big fancy hotels. Why is she even staying here? Yeah. Why can't she just stay at the cheapest shithole? I mean, she has hospital bills to help pay. Maybe. I assume. Maybe. She's I mean, maybe invested it's... in some way in Ash's recovery. For some reason. Maybe Unless they Serena's just have just free health care. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, maybe Serena is just free loaded. free health care does exist for Pokemon. That's Pokemon Centers. That's true. Yeah, yeah. If only the real world treated po- people as well as the Pokemon world treats Pokemon. Whoa, like makes you think. <laughs> Hashtag makes you think, yeah. <laughs> Except like, of course whoa. for the forced fighting. Yeah. Well, I mean, Makes you think as well. Actually, makes you think, yeah. 
Serena walked over to the elevator and pressed the sixth floor button, and she was elevated quickly towards her destination. Oh, the elevator, it <laughs> elevates. She got off the elevator and walked to her hotel room. Serena's hotel room was separate from her mom's hotel room. Okay, so both she and her mom have been staying here for three years. Yes. And quickly opened the door, entered, and closed the door behind her. She jumped on her white bed and laid there for a couple of seconds, got up, and undressed. Uh, oh, God. Bob, it's anime boobs. Come on. Oh, she's naked now. I like this. <laughs> oh, wait, no, but she's a child. Oh, never mind. Back to sleep. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Asterisk, sigh, asterisk. When will he wake up? She thinks as she cleans herself head to toe in the bathtub filled with shampoo that made pink bubbles in the water. Then she drowned all the water <laughs> and showered herself with warm, sparkling water. Okay, a few fuck? things. First off, what? she drowns the thing that people drown in. Well, yeah, that's second, how you know she's hardcore. She Motherfucker trying to uses, drown a shark. She only uses shampoo in her bath. No soap at all. Yeah. So just her hair made gets pink bubbles. I guess. I don't understand. Also, Wait, what's this? Okay, hold on. So every step of the process to get to the room was laid out in meticulous detail. So I have to assume the same is going on in this bathing scene. So she scrubs herself with shampoo without pouring water. So I guess the bathtub was just full. Of, of shampoo. stagnant water. <laughs> yeah. And she scrubs herself with the water and then drains that and then showers. Drown, drowns it. Drowns it. Drowns yeah, it and then showers. With Why don't you sparkling just shower? Water. She showers with sparkling water. But yeah, who Which I am guessing to mean carbonated water. water. Gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to assume that to mean carbonated yeah, is that like Dasani or like LaCroix? Because one of those tastes way better <laughs> no, than no, the other. No, no, it's Perrier. She's got oh. Perrier coming right out the tap. Yeah, Perrier is the uh, fancy sparkling water. Yeah. And that's a really fancy hotel. Yeah. Then again, it had like a giant fountain and pools around the corners. Uh, I chased my Perignon with some Perrier. Yeah. That's it. I don't have a second line. Oh, man. Oh. Uh... She dried herself with a fluffy towel and dressed up in her pajamas. She closed closed the bed and <laughs> stared outside, watching the glowing city lights in the dark, cold, empty night. That reminds me of the game, like the adventure game Shadowgate, where there is a part where you... Well, there's two parts, actually. There's a part where you have to open a bucket before you can uh, access its contents, and you have to open a map... To take it off the wall, but the game still tells you that you opened the map. And she closes the bed. Right, she closed that bed. She As closed it up real good. As she folded the mat she folded the cover up, she folded the mattress up. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh she notices the storm outside before going to sleep. Uh-huh. Outside, the storm grew more powerful by the second. The wind was howling, lightning flashed across the sky, the waves in the ponds and lakes splashed against the shoreline harshly. Then, the lightning struck the hospital, the very same hospital Ash was laying in. It hit the lightning rod that was installed at the top of the hospital roof. It was supposed to absorb electricity and make energy. That's not how lightning rods work. I don't even give a fuck. The hospital lights flickered once, twice. Another bolt hit, and the whole entire building blacked out. The oh whole my god, I'm about building. to black out. <laughs> the monitors survived the first two bolts, because these monitors wear on low batteries. That's not how that works. <laughs> what? No. You could have just said it was connected to a surge strip. You could have just not said anything. <laughs> if you had told no, me that it. the monitors hadn't burned out, I would have just not cared. Ugh. <laughs> Then came the third bolt. The energy was coursed into the monitors, which were already fully charged. Oh my god, that's not how anything works. 
By the yeah, way, in case let, I'm faint, I'm I'm laying down now. If you're yeah, you let your phone get hit by lightning and it charges it all the way back up. Yeah, that's how. Like that's whenever. That's why whenever there's a lightning storm, you just you just everybody your gets phone free, outside. Yeah, yeah you charge. walk outside for a little bit, you recharge. Yeah, Ben Franklin was just trying to get some signal again. <laughs> Ben Franklin was on the number two most reliable network. Maybe, maybe <laughs> yeah. he should have he should have tied his phone to to the kite and not a key. Yeah. Ben Franklin's looking at his Sprint phone, going one percent my ass. Sprint <laughs> this blows. Does, Sprint doesn't work for me. <laughs> oh, call out on Sprint. Yeah, just, uh, just I guess really. Um, the monitor sent a large spark of electricity, which jolted Ash. It oh, was shit. just enough to wake him up. Oh, just that's all enough. they needed. They just yeah. needed to shock him into waking up. They needed to shock him again to get him out of the coma. Yeah. Yeah. You know, shock goes in, shock goes out. Right. That's how it works. Never a miscommunication. Mm-hmm. The monitors completely blacked out after that and started to steam white smoke out of the screen. Is it steam? Is it smoke? <laughs> Does it's it both. make sense? Two very no. different things. It's both. Uh, Whoa. Uh, where? <laughs> where am I? Pikachu, are you there? <sighs> Pikachu stared at Ash with big eyes. <laughs> yeah. First okay. with amazement, then with joy that his master was finally awake. Oh man, the asshole I shocked into a comma has finally woken up. Yeah. Pikachu is finally like, oh my god, I don't have to feel guilty anymore. Uh, <laughs> I, Jeez, missed, like, I can leave. <laughs> I missed like 20 Pika years of my life. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. you're finally up, thank god. Pika Pika, god. <laughs> yeah. um, Pika P! cried Pikachu as he jumped onto Ash, nuzzling him on his face. Ash pets Pikachu softly on its head. Oh man, he's Present a time tense wizard. For some reason. He's a time yeah. wizard. He, we caught he up to the story. The it's going to be future tense by the end oh, of the Oh shit. Oh no. damn. <laughs> I hope not. That was probably the best nap I ever had. Har 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 is the first thing coma victims say Comedy. when they wake up. Yeah. Yep. Ash said as he got of the hospital bed. Missed a word there. No. No, they didn't. <laughs> uh oh. Gosh, the weather sure is violent today, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with the Ash voice, I'm sorry. It's a good Ash voice. Yeah, I want to give him a swirly, like, through the internet. Yeah. <laughs> which is up, the token nerd? of a good Ash voice, yeah. Yeah. Pikachu nods in agreement. He gets up and starts to move around in his current surrounding, trying to decide where he was. So we're just in present tense now. Yeah. Maybe? Wait, off and on. Off and on, yeah. Yeah. Time means nothing. Time doesn't exist. It comes and starts and stops. Yeah. 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 And then it goes again. This yeah. is a time storm as well. Oh. And, then you, and then all you can say is, there it went. Yes. Well, yeah. I see everything white and a red cross at the door, so I guess I'm in a hospital. Power of deduction. Thanks, huh. Sherlock. <laughs> he looks at the clock that was placed on the wall. Right now, it's about three o'clock in the morning, I guess. Author, I don't care. <laughs> Make me care about the characters. He said as he shrugged. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, I he guess opens. it's three in the morning. Time to get out of the hospital. Yeah. Ugh. He opens the door and walks out, making sure to close it silently. What? Let's just leave the hospital. Don't call just... a nurse. Don't tell a doctor or anything. <laughs> no, no, just just no. leave in the morning. We have a missing go. child. They've been kidnapped. Like, yeah, They're in a coma. About, I was about to say the morning's <laughs> morning nurse shows up and she's like, "Oh my god, oh the my patient's god. gone." <laughs> No. Where no. did the patient go? Not only do I not care about the nurse that will be here eventually, but there's no nurse here now. Yeah. There's no one in this hospital I now. I open the door and I look around and it's just an abandoned hospital. It's yeah, like why is there nobody at the nurse's station? What is this? What kind of hospital is this? Oh my god, it's a creepypasta. Yeah. Oh, it's a creepy the Lavender damn. Town music is about to start playing backwards. Oh no! Oh Ash no, is not in the purgatory lavender. all along. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. 
Ashes actually squall. Oh. Now, time to go back home. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God, I love your voice for Ash. Randy it gets Pikachu. better every time you say something. It gets more more easily. Eventually, just it'll just be nose. Like- I don't know. He's fighting some Pokemon, and the Pokemon, like, shoots flames or something, and Ash just pulls out a book on physics, and he's like, now hold on, that shouldn't be scientifically possible. Hey, it's me, Ash. Yeah. Uh, Pika, Pika! Shut up, He Pikachu. said as he raced Ash to the end of the empty hallway. I'm I'm so glad that uh, that Pikachu is just suddenly best of friends with, with Ash, you know, it's... Yeah. It's great how that where you know, I mean that's the best basis for a friendship. I shock you into a coma for three years, you wake up, I feel so guilty that I'm I just have to be your friend because otherwise the guilt would crush and kill me. He he did get hit by lightning. Like you you cannot say that you're doing the theory that everyone's doing and then deviate from that so much. Oh well, let me let me Google. How many times does Ash get struck by lightning? Alright. Okay, so there's this ashes coma, crappy pasta. I, I guess the author did say, well, biased, but meant based. Yeah, it is biased on things. Based off the theory we had about Ash and no, they're to talking about like coma. right at the very beginning. They're talking about him getting struck by lightning and going into a coma. Oh well, I mean it's Whatever. based on the theory. Yeah, it's yeah, Whatever. it's biased on that theory. So mm-hmm. it is biased on that, I guess. At the first floor of the hospital, Ash had quickly changed into black jeans and a white shirt with a red jacket. So not his clothes. I believe that's pronounced Wunerst. <laughs> the Wunerst, yeah. Yeah. I'm only borrowing these clothes. I'll just return these once I get my clothes back. Does the hospital just have sets of black jeans, white shirts, and red jackets on loan? Also, yes. maybe if you call the nurse, she knows where you're... Cl- she can contact your mom. No, she it's can an have clothes. Hospital. Like, it's an abandoned hospital. That's true. You think they have phone service? Yeah. Uh, Ash said to himself, trying to convince the tiny part of him that was guilty of taking these clothes without asking. He grabs oh an umbrella God. and checks the clock one last time. How many umbrellas do they have? Many. They just have, like, a stash of umbrellas? Yeah. They have a stash of black jeans. I'd buy they have a stash of umbrellas. Okay, fine. No, that's fair. They got, like, a <laughs> gift shop downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. What? It took, <laughs> it took like me two four and a half hours, hours to get downstairs. It took four hours! <laughs> Because oh, it started yeah, at 3 hours. o'clock. It was almost 3. It's now 7 o'clock. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, like... I take a long time on my morning routine, but come on. Also, how is there not a... Like, okay, you know what? Not e- actually not fine that there is no nurse I- at 3 o'clock in the morning. Nothing, to, nothing about this is fine. Nothing Yella. about this is fine. But if we assume things are fine, you know, everything around <laughs> us in fi- uh, is on fire, but this is fine. This right. is fine. But at 7 o'clock in the morning, I would expect, like, the first nurses to have already showed up, like, two hours ago. Uh, they always have nurses on staff. Yeah, like, that's what, that's like, my point. Like, they've always but, got you know, them stationed. Like, I know, but disregarding no that. Like, first rotation, basically. Okay. I would expect nurses yeah. to have showed up by this, fucking 5. Yeah. This hospital closes at 10 p.m. and yeah. opens at 7 for breakfast. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> for breakfast. They have a they have a little uh they have a complimentary continental breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Staff there. only. Staff only, yeah. There's it's in the waiting room so that you see the doctors coming in with their plates oh my and filling God. it up and they're walking to another room to eat while the waiting room <laughs> is full of people waiting for their loved ones. God damn. News. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. This hospital sucks. In every <laughs> fan fiction, doctors <laughs> suck, hospitals suck. No, yeah, it's like it's, nobody knows how a hospital actually works. Just watch Scrubs. You yeah. don't even need to actually learn about a hospital. Just watch a little bit of Scrubs and you'll get the gist of it. No nah, Scrubs man. for a comedy show? Quite accurate. Scrubs doesn't play on a Cartoon Network at 3 p.m. when you that's, get home from middle school. That's true. That's true. Fair. Fair. I think I'll go now. <laughs> Come on, Pikachu. <laughs> We're going outside. 
Stop <laughs> narrating your life. Where? It's weird. It's weird, actually. I am it's, walking yeah. outside right now, Pikachu. Yeah. And Pikachu's just like, I want to shock him I again. know. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I please put him back into a coma? <laughs> P- Pikachu! He said enthusiastically <laughs> while climbing onto Ash's shoulder. Ash exits the hospital and opens the umbrella. He sees the light slowly seeping across the dark sky. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> he notices a young woman walking with an umbrella in her hand, and she was wearing a nursing coat. Oh, hey, finally, a fucking nurse shows up. The fuck is a nursing coat? It's a coat for nursing, as in feeding babies. Oh, okay. Hi. Said Ash, waving at her. The nurse was a young-looking girl, about 18 or 17. That's not a nurse. Uh, with long yellow... Well, I mean, if 12-year-olds can go become Pokemon masters, then 17-year-olds can become nurses, okay? No, not okay. <laughs> Fine. 17-year-olds should also be Pokemon masters. Everybody should be Pokemon masters. With long yellow hair and one curl on each side of her hair, she was about Ash's height. Why is it not just a nurse, Joy? Oh, no, wait, that's Pokemon, right? This is a human nurse. She waved and said hello, wondering why someone was so early at the hospital. Because he was here? Because <laughs> you like should the last, have been here? For, like, the last three years? <laughs> Fucking 18-year-old? Of course, she's an entitled millennial who's showing up late to work. <laughs> Whoa, wait, someone was at this hospital while I was not? Yeah, you should have been here. By the way, the hospital seems to have run out of electricity. What? (laughs) (laughs) Three lightning strikes is a little too much for anything. Yeah, it overcharged, and now the the electricity underflowed, and it's back to zero. Yeah. Or overflowed, I should say. It's, it's a sign in the chair. Anyway. <laughs> I had to open the doors manually. You might want to check it out. I feel <laughs> like my voice check... is incredibly inconsistent, but I don't You might want to check all the electronics in the hospital being dead out. Yeah, you might want to check all the people on life support. And... Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm real glad I woke up, otherwise I'd probably be dead. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, I don't know about him, but everybody else definitely would be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like that old old man in room 3A? Yeah, like the people who are having trouble with, you know, they've, they've got like a dialysis machine that's keeping them alive dead you've got like a person who's who's got like a an artificial like a pacemaker just got jolted with electricity dead everybody's fucking dead there are gonna be people who die from smoke inhalation from all the monitors that blew up yeah but no yeah. the door breaking is the big issue yeah what i'm saying is you should get those front doors checked out. those front doors aren't working yeah right. i had to i had to push the doors open oh Ugh. Oh my god, the response to this is even worse. This is the first world, right? Oh the god. nurse stared at the young boy. Well, I guess you're correct. The storm was quite violent. I'm not surprised that the hospital blacked out. Now, my question is, <laughs> how did you open them forcefully? They have an auto-locking system when the hospital blacks out or has an emergency. Are you crazy? <laughs> when the hospital has an emergency, we made it so people can't go out. What? Or we in. locked the doors, yeah. Oh no, there's a fire. Everybody stay put. <laughs> Everybody stay put, especially you people that are on life support. Oh my god. Ugh, I can't Every move. detail makes this Someone, worse. Please help push my bed out the door. No, we can't open the doors. <laughs> what? There's an emergency, what? sir. There's a fire. We're gonna have to push you out the window. We'll follow after you. What? But I'm on the sixth floor. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, no. Say, no, it's fine. It's fine, sir. We'll toss your bed out first and then yeah. toss you onto it. It'll catch you. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll jump after you. Do make sure you scramble off the bed quickly because we'll follow quickly. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, she said. The nurse decided to study the young man before her. He was skinny and tall. She decided he was about 13 or 14 years old. He had black hair, the way you would have your hair if you had just gotten out of bed. I can say, 
very honestly that when I wake <laughs> up and I get out of bed, my hair is nothing like Ash Ketchum's hair. You know, Weird. when I wake up, uh, <laughs> sometimes my hair out of a missing. coma. Well, yeah, when I wake comma. up out of a comma, uh, yeah. because a lightning strike killed everyone in the hospital. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, first thing I do is make sure my hair looks good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I can't identify with the story you grab at all. A this comb seems very or, unrealistic. You grab a comb or a brush and you make sure it's all neat. Yeah. For that reason, this story is unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for that reason alone. Yeah. God. Everything else, 100% realistic. Yeah, 100% good. This is uh, how yeah. hospitals work. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, he looked cute in a weird sort of way. Why did you put a comma there? <laughs> that <laughs> comma is also cute in a weird, weird sort, sort of, of way. way. Yeah. yeah. Then she did something unexpected. She rustled his hair in a brotherly sort of way. You could have said sisterly. Yeah. Or maybe Ash is the brother. The reaction was made her smile herself. Ooh. He smiled. A warm, happy smile. A smile that made her feel happy all the way down to the tip of her toe. Oh, no! <laughs> I would react strongly if I knew what any of this meant. Can can someone post that in the Discord? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll post do it that afterwards. in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, okay. we can post that on Twitter. Yeah, yeah actually, on. the oh, sentence yeah. started bad, on and then like God. the left wheel fell off, and then the right <laughs> wheel fell off, and you were heading for a bridge that was out, and then you exploded in midair. God, what? God, is why any of that? The reaction okay. was made her smile, her smile herself. herself. You could just he copy paste. He smiled. It, I mean, I can't <sighs> copy paste off of. Uh, we'll we'll cover it after this. We'll cover it after. Yeah. This. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's uh, narrator still. So, well, I hope you get back home now. It's a little early, anyways. By the way, I'm Heather. Who are you? Welcome. Uh, uh, thanks for introducing yourself, yeah. author. It's very nice. Yeah. Even if the character said that. Ash is coming from the hospital. He tells you about how he had to force the doors open. And you say... Which is apparently impossible. Have fun getting back home. Yeah. So, no. Go back Worst to the hospital. hospital. At least give him a ride if you're gonna let him go home. Maybe, well, apparently you know... this chick walked to work. Yeah. Or maybe, I don't know, fix the electricity, I guess, so you can, you know, have a working phone and then call his mom? Yeah, I mean, he probably shouldn't just walk through the front door after three years. Yeah, he probably shouldn't just, you know... His when muscles I, have probably you know, atrophied. He probably can't walk. That's why it took him four hours to get downstairs. Oh my god. I Except know for happened. the fact where he raced Pikachu to the end of the hallway. Also, oh, yeah. just if you suddenly wake up in a hospital, I don't think your first instinct is gonna be, let me just, you know, discharge myself out of this hospital and go home walking. Guys, guys, let's stop thinking about what should have happened, because obviously the author didn't. That's so, true. That's very true. true. So very let's fair. just accept this crazy, mm -hmm. weird world where Ash was alone in a hospital, completely alone. And just no one on staff, and, and just, he just leaves. He woke up, and he and there's clothes waiting for him, and he just gets dressed and leaves. And and the nurse has, and the nurse I mean, is just the nurse like, just huh, rubs cool. his hair, and you know the reaction was made her smile herself. He smiled a warm, happy smile, a smile that made her <laughs> feel happy all the way down to the tip of her toe. Ugh, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Happy to meet you, Heather. My name is Ash. Well, Ash, I hope you have a nice day today and travel back, s travel safely back to your home. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, okay. Have a nice day at work, Heather. Nice knowing you. Bye. Jesus. It makes it sound like he's about to go to a, like a, like he's walking to his death. It nice knowing not, you. It was nice yeah. knowing you. Goodbye. He waved as he ran down the block. Where is he? 
with an open umbrella in one of his hands and and a Pikachu on his right shoulder. Okay. I mean, running <laughs> with an open umbrella is already very weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever tried moving uh, it even more than like a, a like again, slight brisk slightly brisk walk? Like you're holding an umbrella, <laughs> that shit will catch the air and it'll hold you back. Things work differently here, Bob. Yeah. Fine. This is the awakening oh, world. Um, bye. Waved Heather as she saw the young boy run down the block and into the streets. No, Ash! Ash, <laughs> no, 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 Ash. <laughs> you just woke up from a, from a fucking coma, He's you gonna idiot. go back into a coma, oh, you no! You moron, you imbecile. Oh, man. Oh, Pikachu man. doesn't even need to shock you again. Ash, you doofus. Ah. Oh. So, should we recap what's happened again, even though we've done that multiple times? No. (laughs) No. But we will. (laughs) We will. Yeah. Ash wakes up, and he leaves. Yeah, that's all. That's all. (laughs) For our sanity, that's all that happened. He woke Um, up, and he left. Also, completely unrelated, Serena stays in a very nice hotel. Oh, so nice. Right. The nice. So... Yeah. Can't wait to see what happens next time on Ash's Awakening. Uh, we have a Steel Donut Discord. You should come join us. Link in the description. Uh, if you want to request stories for us to cover, we we will take requests in the Steel Donut Discord or in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>